I'm not making a claim that we should behave in a way. No, no, you're making claims. I am making claims, yeah. But I'm not making a claim that, like, we should behave in a certain way or, like... What are you talking about? This is such... Oh, uh, hello? Um, yeah, so... I've seen you, like, talk a lot about, like, objective morality. Um, and my big question is, you know, it feels like you can make good statements and bad statements without referencing some kind of, like, um like moral books, so I can say like something is good, right? I had a good day today. And it doesn't really feel like I need to reference religion for that. Um, like, so can you explain to me why you think we need to have some kind of absolute standard for like morality? Excellent question, it's really good. That actually is a very good question. So I'm excited to see how Charlie Kirk presents this. Practically what this kid is doing, or I'm not gonna say kid, well, looks like a kid if I'm being honest, but they're in college, so I'm gonna say young adult, is doing is, asking Charlie Kirk why he believes that there has to be some type of moral ruling or moral compass or moral guide in society. So I have my own personal answer, but this is his video, so let's continue, and I hope you enjoy this. If you say you have a good day, are you describing the experience you had, or was it morally a good day? Um, so yeah, it would be a good day, so I can like narrow it down more, I guess. Um, or I can ask, I guess, like a better question. So if I don't have religion, right, let's say I am an atheist or something, and I were to go up to, um, I find like two books. One's the Quran, and then one is the Bible. And I read both of them, and then I have a feeling of preference towards one or the other. That makes me feel like morality probably isn't objective, because I read two moral codes, I didn't have one before, and then I derived one after reading it. But one is true. Well, yeah, obviously you're going with the presupposition that one is true. But, but like, so let, let's, clearly, pl let's play uh, this yeah. out. If, not sorry to interrupt. If I'm on an island, and let's just demystify part of this, and there's the Bible, and then there's Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. and I end up believing in one of those, which is true. Um, well, what's true is just what corresponds with reality. We're talking um, about... Ah, I I'm, agree. So which yeah. one has evidence, and when applied in the natural world, actually shows a flourishing people and society and a way to live because you would agree at least out of eight out of ten of the ten commandments they're pretty good rules for life no right? yeah, 100%. yeah of course yes no how, but so great. the thing that i'm talking about is doesn't have to do with whether or not christianity is good or bad or whether no, i agree with most saying. of yeah it's just regarding like um yeah one can be true but even if one is true it doesn't really feel like i'm influenced in terms of what I feel is good or bad because obviously, you know, there are people who are Muslim who have read, you know, the Bible and still are more persuaded by Islam. Okay, so obviously this student is more intelligent than most. <laughs> I'll say that. But what I will say is when it comes to having a moral compass or a moral guide in society, it has to be necessary because if it's not necessary, one thing the student said was, I feel. Every day, or most times, I feel different. And unless you have a set of rules that you're following, you will be governed by what you feel or what you think is right. Think of how a country is run. Whether or not we believe in laws, whether or not we support certain laws, there are rules that we have to follow, whether or not we feel they are right, such as the speed limit. You may believe that a road speed limit should be 70 miles per hour. But the governing state believes that that speed limit should be 55. And if you do not drive 55, you will either get a ticket, get pulled over, or hopefully not, something worse. So in reference to morals or a moral compass, if there is not a rule book, you are not governed by anything. You are only governed by what you think is right. In no society has that become successful. In no household has that become successful. In no school, in no economy has that ever become successful. So, yes, you may have a different set of rule books, such as the Quran or, or the Holy Bible. However, you have to pick a rule book. You have to pick a rule book to follow. Whether or not you believe the Bible should be followed, there has to be some type of moral compass that you live by if you believe in morality. Because if you do not follow a compass, a set of rules that say, I can do this, I shouldn't do this, then how do you define what you're doing is immoral or moral? Because as you said, if you're going off of what you feel, you may feel that what you're doing is moral. But unless you have a rule book saying, this is moral, this is not moral, you determine it. You determine whether or not you should have did this or you should have did that to them or this to them. 
And that's how criminals are born. They think that what they're doing is right. However, it's it's literally not. So all I'm saying is you are smart, but maybe a little misguided. No, of course. I mean, you could be persuaded by anything, right? That That doesn't... I believe that there is a transcendent way of living. I call that the Bible, right? And I believe it's the perfect catalog from creation to the end of the world. You don't have to agree with that. I'm talking strictly from a moral sense. So let's just ask a, a separate question, which is, do you think people are naturally, naturally, outside of you know, religious teaching, good or not so good? Um, the, I, the nature of humanity. The nature. I wouldn't be comfortable making a statement about That's it. Fair enough, and I appreciate that. So we believe, as Christians or those in the space, human beings are pretty awful, okay? That we're broken, that we're sinful, that we fall short of the glory of God, and that we need to teach people how to be good. A common left-wing belief is that human beings are actually awesome, and they're terrific, and the reason why things are not so good is because of capitalism or the patriarchy or feminism or whatever. So you're asking a question of, you know, why do we need objective morality? Well, or, or what specifically? Um yeah, so not necessarily why we need objective morality, but you seem to be, because obviously I don't believe that it's a thing, but you seem to make the claim that do, like Do you we believe can, that absolutely? Um, no. <laughs> um, okay, good. But You're consistent. Yeah, the, the big thing is, is for me, even if I have a god, there is no thing telling me like, you know, it's just like the is ought problem, right? That's like my big contention, right? How am I ever going to derive a claim about what I should do from only statements about the nature of being? Got it. So is, you, you would believe murder is wrong? Um, yeah. Why, why, why do you believe that? Because in its definition, it says it's wrong, right? It's wrong killing of somebody. Or at least that's my understanding of it. Okay. So, I mean, so for example, you go to an African village, happens all the time. They leave a full-born baby by the fire. They don't want it. They discard it. Happens tons of times. Any missionary will tell you that. They just discard babies. Why, why, they don't believe it's wrong. It's just in their code and custom. No one feels bad about it. Just discard kids you don't want. Are they wrong? Um, for me, yeah, they're wrong. Yeah. But, it, but, it's well, it's well, a bullet I no, do no, have no, to no, bite hold on, from hold on, hold on, hold on. Are they objectively wrong? Is it object No. No. So I don't Leaving a baby by a fire isn't objectively wrong. And this is what I'm kind of talking about. Yes, it's objectively wrong. It's wrong, but they don't care. They want to do it anyways. And this is the problem I have. When you don't follow or you don't think of having a sense of objective morality or a rule book that says, okay, this is right, this is wrong, then the blinds just blur too much in society. They blur too much. So another question I would pose is, if they did that same exact thing, but they did it here in America, would they be wrong? The only thing that changed was their geographical location. How is it wrong here, but it's right there? What is the difference? And if you say, oh, but what about the laws? What about the laws? 100, no. 200 years ago, it would have been wrong for me to walk outside without someone behind me or walk outside alone. Was that right because it was legal? Was it right for, all I'm saying is, if you're going solely off of the rules of the land to determine if something is right or wrong, then I'm really worried about you because slave, you know slavery existed, right? Slavery still exists right now, and to, like right now, today, in other places. Is it right because it's legal there? So <laughs> I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. You, you can't, you're blurring the lines unless you have objective morality. I believe in objective morality, so that can apply so to it's any not, So it's not objectively wrong to leave a full-born baby by the fire and just say, you're on your own, have a nice life. Well, yeah, I'm calling into question objective morality, so I obviously have no, to No, I know, I'm bullet. just trying to make you hear back how insane what you are saying. Well, you're so, making a claim no, about no. the objectivity of it. No, you're I know, so no, 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 let, let's, let's get, obviously, I think it's wrong. let's get more graphic. So you okay. put you put a thousand Jews in a gas chamber, mm -hmm. and the Nazis thought what they were doing was good, and they pressed the button. Mm -hmm. Were they right or were they wrong in gassing millions of Jews? Objectively, you can't like when you say, "Is it objectively wrong?" Hold on, wait, wait. If what do you mean, wait? What do you mean, wait? What? Okay, you're getting crazy. What do you mean, wait? Are you trying to justify this? Oh my gosh, this is bad. I thought. Like, you sound intelligent at the beginning, but now, 
If you say it's objectively wrong, you're implying that you can derive a truth value from it. And I don't think you can. So I don't think that you can make a true statement regarding whether something's good or bad. Got it. So just to be clear. And this student is trying to act like he's saying derive a true statement. This is not computer science. You're not writing a Python code. Why are you using these terms? This is real life. And I'm an engineer. I'm a literal engineer. Like an entire engineer. You, this is not a logic statement. This is real people. These are real circumstances. I don't care about the derive this and the, say it's a true statement. No. It is wrong. Say it. It's wrong. The Nazis could have been right in their actions, in your view. That implies that right is an actual thing. I don't believe you can determine a truth value from a moral claim. So the Nazis were not objectively evil. Yeah, I've said that like four times. Like, yeah, you can't derive no. objective moral statements okay. from like things. Thank I'm not you. saying they're not wrong. Like, they are wrong. Oh. Well, no, no, no. No, it's okay. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, you can derive a truth from a moral statement. Because if you, if you say that you don't, if you say that it's not, it's not possible to, to derive a truth from a moral statement, then you literally do not believe in morals. You don't believe, I'll go even a step further. You don't believe in right or wrong. You don't believe in, in good or bad. You don't believe in goodness. You don't believe in evilness. You think everything is just, in a sense, equal morally equal so this is this is this refer to religion because in the in the in the holy bible or in the christian religion you believe that jesus christ god is the ultimate form of goodness and you believe that satan or lucifer is the ultimate form of evilness but what you're saying is that evil doesn't exist and good doesn't exist so nothing that happens in society can be justified as either. So a question I'd ask is, since evil and good don't exist, why should legal and illegal exist? Because let's say something is illegal, if it's not causing harm or if it's not evil or wrong, why shouldn't people just be able to do it? Everything should just be free for all in society. Why not we why can't we just have a free for all? And the answer to that is, is if we did, there would be pure chaos. So if there would be pure chaos on something as little as laws, if laws didn't exist, what makes you think there wouldn't be pure chaos if something such as goodness and evil didn't exist? Because that's universal. But let's continue. No, I, I just want to make sure we're, this is important because what you are saying, and you're saying it very clearly, mm -hmm. is that we look at the Holocaust and it's just a matter of opinion. Yeah, that's kind of the problem of being an atheist. You have to bite the bullet. I respect your intellectual clarity, and I will say... And obviously well, for on. clarity, no, 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 I no. obviously think the Holocaust is wrong. So no, I, if anyone's questioning no, about that, No, but it's that, just, just, it's just yeah. your opinion. I believe that it's objectively wrong, mm -hmm. no matter who you are or where you come from, because it transcends opinion. Do you think, last question, I mm -hmm. appreciate your clarity on this, do you see wh how your view could result in a lot of dead people. Well, I don't think my view is really a, I'm not making a claim that we should behave in a way. No, no, you're making claims. Well, I am making claims, yeah, but I'm not making a claim that like, we should behave in a certain way or like, that we ought to like, you know, not have Christianity or some kind no, no, of No, I'm not code. saying that, but let me play this out and I think you'll understand. No, I understand cause because you're gonna say, it, well, there's all these bad things that could happen if people or, follow or, me. Or that did happen. No, 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 I'm not following mm -hmm. you. If your view becomes a view of a country mm -hmm. and for example, putting a thousand Jews in a gas chamber is not deemed as objectively wrong, transcendent above anyone's opinion, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, what would prevent that evil thing from occurring and nobody questioning it? Sure. So my main idea, I guess, with the worldview is I'm not making a claim again about how things should be. I'm making a claim that this is how things are. So within my like worldview, this is all fine. You can have people agreeing that things are wrong. Generally, I think most, moral, most people's moral intuitions will lead them to thinking that things like murder is wrong and stealing is wrong because it makes you feel bad, right? No, well, if I see somebody get... What are you talking about? This is such... And this is such a first world take. You think most people on earth believe this? Do you realize murder and theft are still happening? Like, And this is what I say in my videos. A lot of people who grow up very privileged... It's, they have a hard time fathoming 
that in other lands, murder, wrong, like evilness happens on a day to day basis, and they don't think twice about it. They don't. They don't care about your rights. They don't care about morality. They don't. They don't care because they are actually operating under the same principles that you're describing right now. They they don't have an objective good and evil. They have a I want this, I'm gonna get it. And you have it, you're in my way, I'm taking it from you. The fact that you believe that majority of people will just do the right thing, if they see a plate of food and they haven't eaten in five days and there's no law saying they can't take it, that they just won't take it because of someone else's food, you really think that? That's just first world. That's a first world take because it hasn't happened to you yet. It hasn't happened to anyone you know in this country yet. But I promise, go to another land that's a third world and really think like this. See what happens to you. And I'm not wishing anything harm, but let's be real here. It hurt. That makes me feel bad. If you see somebody no, of die, course. that makes you totally. feel bad. Yeah, the, the, the SS guards didn't feel bad when they killed Jews, and that's okay. But do you see where this might unravel into mass murder and societal chaos? Yeah, it, that happens in the real world. I'm making a description about the way people derive their morals. I'm not saying how we should or shouldn't. I'm saying this is how you just, like derive your morals. If you have two books there, the trueness or correspondence with reality has zero anything to do with your preference towards you know one moral system or, or another. Hold on. Or Maybe the true one says, don't gas the Jews that and would be, don't yeah, murder. That would be obviously, Because God you know, I, will judge you harshly. Yeah, 100%. Maybe the tr and, I mean, just hear me out. Maybe the true one says that life is good and that there is a creator who loves you. But maybe, now what you're doing maybe. is you're just making claims about what you think. Like, yeah, obviously it would be awesome if I had a moral code that everyone had to follow that agreed with I know, if only I a book existed. Yeah, I know, if only. But my if, entire If only is, there was this amazing book. You, yeah, but my point is that... No, you're, you're, being, that... you're being super clear. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, yeah. No, and you have, you're the first person ever, to your credit, <laughs> to answer the atheist Nazi question clearly, which is that an atheist cannot objectively say yeah. that the Holocaust is wrong. I'm arguing against objective, like the idea that... No, you're, you're being... Yeah. Usually there's some withering there. You, you went right into there, Well, so. yeah, I can't go in here and, like, not bite the bullets of, like, what my argument implies, like... We have clarity, but not agreement. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your time. Uh, that was an interesting video. I think the student, he's obviously, <laughs> he has some intelligence. I'm not, you, you You can't deny it, but definitely a little confused. And He's a little confused. But hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions, comment below. Yeah, 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 yeah.